Howdy. Hi. Hi We've been told that we should be having more babies to counteract our ageing population. 2.1 <laughs> babies per couple is the number often quoted as being required to ensure a stable population. What is the government doing to incentivise and support women and families to have more babies given the current situation in Australia? Thanks, Adam, for your very topical question and, uh, and Patricia. First, Adam, do you want to have lots of babies? I've got one coming. Oh, cool! Hey. Congratulations! <laughs> I have to ask. I'm not at 2.1. I'm not at 2.1 yet. You're at nearly one. <laughs> 1.0. One. You're cooking. You're cooking one. On the way. But was it a hard decision? Like, uh, some people tell me, Patricia, young people... Patricia, what are you asking me these very personal questions for? <laughs> He's my best friend, <laughs> Adam Hansen. He's very eager and... Yeah. Adam, but, like, you know, the world's obviously complicated. Things are expensive. Was it something you've thought about? Well, yeah, but what can you do about it? Like, I'm just trying to have babies and... <laughs> I don't know. Doing the best that I can. <laughs> I love you, Adam. <laughs> Me too. Thank you. OK, have, have three, have four, because I could only manage two. Jim's had three, though. Well, Laura did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, you know, you, you're there. Yeah. Um, hey, Adam, it's a great question. It's so topical, uh, partly because Patricia wrote a story on the ABC website today that people should check out, but also because in the lead-up to the budget, I was asked about this, and people said... Yeah, in the context of an ageing population and the context of uh, fertility rates being 1.6 or just higher than that, and you cite the 2.1 number, uh, people ask me, you know, should people have more kids? And the point that I made then and the point that I make again now uh, is that it's expensive, you know, and people are making different choices. Uh, and, you know, I don't want to tell people what they should be doing with their own family decisions, but I do want to make it easier if people make that choice for themselves, like you two have. Um, and so when you look at right across our government, you know, and I work closely with a couple of great colleagues, Katie Gallagher and Amanda Rishworth, and with the Prime Minister, obviously, on this. You know, the way that we've expanded paid parental leave, the way that we're now paying super, or soon we'll be paying super on paid parental leave, the way that we've invested billions of dollars in early childhood education and care, uh, the way that we're boosting wages in care economy sectors dominated by women, all of these things uh, are about trying to make it easier uh, for people to make that decision if they want to. I'm not going to tell anyone to do anything in that regard, and I think there's been a bit of kind of oversimplifying of my position. Yes. Um, my view is it's expensive, people will make their own choices. My job as your treasurer uh, is to try and make it easier to make the choice that you guys have made if people want to. So not one for the country. I don't, uh, I don't use the same words about this that uh, one of my predecessors, Peter Costello, used. Um, you know, he put some of these issues on the agenda and that's not the worst thing. Uh, I take a bit of a different view. I try to be understanding about the cost of living pressures that people are under. It's not cheap to have kids, as you are experience and will experience. Uh, and people are making a different combination of choices now and my job is to support those choices in the ways that I've described. Well, and good luck with Bluey being on high repeat in your household. <laughs> Honestly, good luck with that. It is a good show.